In the quiet town of Nazareth, where Jesus grew up, he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath, as was his custom. The sun streamed through the windows, casting warm golden light on the gathered worshipers. The room buzzed with anticipation as Jesus stood up to read. The attendant handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling it carefully, Jesus found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. As he read, his voice was clear and filled with authority. He rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fixed on him, hanging on his every word. Then Jesus began to speak, saying, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. The people were amazed and spoke well of him, marveling at the gracious words that came from his lips. Yet they were puzzled and began to murmur among themselves, Isn't this Joseph's son? they asked. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Surely you will quote this proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. Do hear in your hometown what we have heard that you did in Capernaum. He continued, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time, when the sky was shut for three and a half years and there was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but to a widow in Zarephath in the region of Sidon. And there were many in Israel with leprosy in the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. Hearing this, the people in the synagogue were furious. They got up, drove him out of the town, and took him to the brow of the hill on which the town was built, intending to throw him off the cliff. But Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way, leaving them in stunned silence.